Hi, I'm Hal Roberts, and welcome to We Mean Business, Profiles of Business Success. It's an exciting new multi-level marketing campaign, allowing your business to break through the advertising clutter. It features a print, online component, and an exciting new television show. It's a chance for you to tell people who you are, where you are, and what you're all about. We're going to have Sandra come in. You're just going to go up to her and try to grab her. Come on, lady. What you got? That's a good job. Next is Sarah's. Okay. Oh, well, she's a little smaller. That's no big deal. What you got? I'm going to get you a ring it by your... No! And then, uh, good. And we also have... Do, we do it for little kids as well. Little kids? Well, hey, little girl. Hey, what do you got? No! Good job. That's, that's really nice, Sunset Gil. Why do you always wear white, you know, when we're working with red? Okay. <laughs> what do we have there? Uh, this is vegetable base. Okay. Salt and pepper? Salt and pepper, throw those right in. At the same time? Yep. There we go. A couple of symbols there. Pinch of basil, I'll allow you to basil stir it up. Basil or basil? Oh, no, no, I want a big honk it. Come on, you something bigger here. than that, a little basil. better. Here we go. Yeah, now, now we're talking. See, look at that right here. The 1960s offered a small taste of what was to come. John F. Kennedy won the White House. The pill made its debut, and Canada's population was just over 18 million. Welcome to Beauty and the Beater. This show is all about two couples, two cars, 32 hours, and $3,000 each. Whoever does the best job restoring their vehicle within that period of time wins their vehicle. The losing couple's vehicle unfortunately has a date with the Crusher. Now the vehicles both have solid motors, transmissions, and brakes, but unfortunately they need a little bit of upholstery and bodywork. Let's also meet our couples here. Representing the red team right over here, we have Christina with a K and Adam. Welcome to Beauty and the Beater, you guys. Thanks. What makes you think you have the right stuff to win this? Well, we're sharper, faster, younger, and we get along well, too. <laughs> now, representing the blue team over here, here you go, you guys. We have Dan and Marion. Now, these guys say they're younger, they're faster, they might be smarter. What say you? <laughs> we're older, we're wiser, and Marion takes direction well. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Congratulations on the purchase of your new vehicle. You know, this is a pretty exciting time with plenty to think about before you take delivery of that new car or truck. There are many important decisions to make during the buying process, and we want to make sure you have all of the information you need before you take delivery of that brand new car or truck. Java, there are many different rooms inside of the Pickering Islamic Center, including this one we're in right now, which is used for ceremonial cleaning. Absolutely. This is called the Budu area, or the ablution area, where people wash up their hand, face, and feet before they enter the prayer hall and do their prayers. Hi, welcome once again to Garage Rods Television. I'm Hal Roberts along with Mike Campbell. This show basically teaches you how to build a hot rod right in your own garage using a kit. And today we'll be working once again on this 32 Ford two-door sedan. And Mike, we spent a lot of time and effort putting together uh, the paint, the paint bodywork here. Yeah, we got uh, four coats of urethane on here, water sanded at that stage, and then we put uh, four coats of clear coat, and then we went to water sand again with 1200 grit, and then we polished it, taking out any imperfections. Islamic law prohibits the mosque from carrying a traditional mortgage. So the $4.2 million facility you see on Brock Road in Pickering was essentially built with an interest-free loan from members of the congregation. For Faith Journal, I'm Hal Roberts reporting.